Hi, this is Derek Sadie with the business development team at Blackboard. And what I'm going to go through today is just showing the difference between setting up an LTI integration from the perspective of a Blackboard administrator and then using that LTI integration as instructor and then comparing that to the way an, a system administrator would make something in Partner Cloud available. And then, of course, how an instructor would utilize uh, a, a piece of content that's available within Partner Cloud. So the first thing we'll do is go through what it looks like for a Blackboard admin to set up an LTI connection. And I'm going to use the built-in LTI uh, tool that's within Blackboard to have the LTI provider show up as an option on the tool menu for the instructor. So I'm using a very current version of Blackboard Learn. I'm logged in as an administrator. Uh, just to show you the details, um, we've got the um, newest release here as of, as of today, and it's March 14th, uh, 2017. And I'm going to go ahead and add in a brand new LTI provider. Now, in this case, the example doesn't really matter all so much. I'm focusing more on the steps of configuring it. Uh, what happens when the instructor clicks the LTI tool and it loads in Blackboard? That, of course, depends on the provider being added. But if you have, a, uh, if there is an LTI tool provider that needs to be added by a Blackboard admin, or better yet, another way to say it is if you've got a Blackboard uh, school that wants to make use of an LTI tool provider, the Blackboard admin needs to complete the following steps in order to do that. And there's some pre-work that must be done as well. So in order for this to work, uh, the assumption has already been made that the uh, tool provider, you know, that the company, the partner, whoever that might be, has already talked to or communicated with the Blackboard admin to provide them with some of the details, things like a key and a secret and some of the configuration details and most likely instructions as well. And this is to take advantage of the entire tool placement uh, utility, which I'll show you what that looks like. So in this example, I'm using Office Mix. Uh, it's a Microsoft kind of tool just to show what the LTI process looks like. And here's what the admin would need to do. So the first thing they would do is they'd come into the area called Building Blocks, and they would go into LTI Tool Providers. Now, if they've never added any LTI Tool Providers, the very first thing they would need to do is go to Manage Global Properties. And in Manage Global Properties, the admin will be able to uh, make sure then select uh, the options that they want to be configured. I went in and said, I'm allowing it. Um, I'm allowing tool links to approve tool providers. I'm sending data over any connection. And these are going to be uh, configurable and customized by the individual Blackboard admin at the given client school. But for this, this is what my demo server looks like here. So I'm not making any changes, but that needs to be configured. Then the Blackboard admin is going to come here and, and click register provider domain. Now, when all is said and done, they're going to have the domain showing up. The domain will equate to the LTI tool provider that the admin wants to add the connectivity to. Uh, you can see in this case, I've got a variety of them already added. And you can see here, you know, there's a, a list that's kind of grown as I go. Um, I'm going to go in and add a brand new one that's going to then show up. So the first thing I'm going to do here is click register provider domain. Now, this is where the admin has to fill these things out. Some of the values don't matter and can be customized at the school level, but it works out best if the partner or you know the company that represents the tool provider provides the actual details. I have a little cheat sheet where I'm going to copy some of these in. So the provider domain, um, in this case, is going to be um, the site that where Office Mix lives, and this is going to be the main domain. You can have multiple placements that are kind of sub pages or sub sites within this domain, but you have to have a domain, and I'm going to say it's approved. This one's basic, so I'm not, I don't have secondary host names. Um, I'm going to also set this globally. What this means is that when the instructor goes to utilize this, they don't have to have a key and secret handy. The key and secret is going to be assumed for all links that are added by instructors by this placement. There's other ways to add it in this example. That's how I'm going to do it. Makes it easiest on the instructor users. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my fake key. I'm going to go ahead and put in my fake secret. These would be provided to the Blackboard system admin by the partner whoever that LTI tool provider is, and there are no custom parameters for this example. So under institution policies, this will be usually inherited by those global policies, but can be overridden at this level. I am I'm gonna leave them alone. I like to send the data over any connection, and I'm gonna allow all the user fields, and I'm gonna bypass the provider message. So I'm gonna go ahead and click submit. And at that point, we've now kind of added this in, and we've allowed this, um, we've allowed this tool provider to be active. However, this doesn't change the user experience at the instructor level yet. Uh, and they can go ahead and add this link if they know how to add it, if they know the code, if they know the URL and some of the details. What I'd like to do is utilize the uh, placement tool to make it show up in the menu for the instructor. So there's an additional step there 
that a system admin has to take. So what I'll do is I'll go locate my, my entry. So there it is. I just added this. And you'll notice that in the um, uh, placement and usage column, there is zero. So I've not yet, what that means is I've added no placements. That's an administrative function, which I'm about to do. And then the zero in the usage count means no instructors using it right now in any courses on the system. Not a surprise since I just added it and I have not added the placements. So I'm going to come in here and edit this and I'm going to go ahead into manage placements. And now this is where the admin goes in and they can configure multiple placements, but adding at least one lets this particular LTI tool provider manifest as an available option in the tools menu for an instructor within the course. So I'm going to go ahead into create placement and this is another manual screen that the Blackboard admin will need to fill out, hopefully with some instructions provided by the LTI uh, tool provider company. But I've got my cheat sheet, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a label. This label is what's going to appear when the instructor goes to add this in their course. I'll make it real simple. Call it Office Mix. This description is usually just for the system admin, but can show up in a couple of places for the instructor. Um, I'm just going to put it in there to give a little briefing about what this tool actually is. Pretty generic text. Now the handle is the unique identifier of the placement, helpful for reporting. It can be anything as long as it's unique. Uh, I kind of made my own here that I'm going to put in. And then the student tool versus content type. Again, these instructions would be provided by the LTI tool provider. Uh, in some cases, it can be both. You'd add separate placements for each. This placement has nothing to do with actual grading. There's no grade integration, so I wouldn't bother with a content type. But some, some LTI integrations are a little more robust. Um, usually, if there is a student tool functionality as well as a content type tool functionality, this placement screen would be added uh, or configured twice. One placement for student tool, another placement with maybe a different name, different handle, different details for the content type, and then of course if it allows grading, this allows it to connect into the gradebook. All of these options are specific to the LTI tool provider, and whether or not they function is based on the functionality that's being delivered through LTI by that provider. Just checking the box placement allows grading does not magically allow an LTI tool to just start collecting grades unless that functionality is readily available from the provider itself. So there's a lot of things you can, one can do in LTI. Not every single LTI integration supports all the functionality. Again, this data would have to come from and be communicated from the LTI tool provider, you know, company or support desk or uh, account contact to the Blackboard admin for exactly what functionality is and is not supported, and then some guidance about how to configure this screen. So in this case, I'm going to make it very simple. I'm just going to call it a student tool. And then this is nice too, if there is an image, uh, this when it's added to the course, the image will automatically be added, provides a little branding and some differentiation that it's not just a generic web link, but it's actually linked to a tool. I've already prepped the item, but again, this is something that would need to be provided to the Blackboard admin so they could have it handy to upload. Um, I just took the Office Mix logo, made it a 50 by 50 pixel image, and that way I can add it in here. And then lastly here, the tool provider and URL. Now this URL would be the specific LTI endpoint. So you remember on the previous screen, I put in just the domain. Um, if, there, if there's more than one endpoint, you'd wanna add a placement for each endpoint. In this case, this endpoint is very simple. It's essentially an LTI basic endpoint within the mixofficeppe.com domain. So I'm just gonna pop that endpoint in. And the key and secret are inherited from the previous screen because in this example, I'm doing global uh, key and, and secret, so I don't have to worry about placing it at each one. There are certain LTI providers that don't do it globally, that if they have multiple LTI endpoints, there is a key and secret provided for each. That has to be communicated to the Blackboard admin about which one goes with which, and this placement screen will need to be created each and every time for each individual LTI endpoint, especially if it has uh, customized key and secrets that go with the specific endpoints. So once that's been added, I've kind of got my basic configuration here, I'll hit submit, and now what I've done is I've added an LTI tool provider, in this case, Office Mix. And then within that LTI tool provider, I've gone in and added one placement. And so you can see here that I've got one placement and I've got zero usage. And I've also turned off, hopefully this will work, I've turned off my user acknowledgement page. And I've also, um, I'm, I've got it, it's approved and it's approved site-wide uh, and for the key in secret. So now let's see what the instructor experience looks like for that. So. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to refresh this course page because I've now added some new tools, but I've got a basic course here and I just made a, a generic course content area called resources so I can show you side by side what this LTI link is going to look like and later what other links might look like next to it. 
but I'll go into my tools menu and among all the other tools that might be there, and this list cannot exactly be customized by the Blackboard admin. There is an algorithm for how these things are organized, but as you, as the Blackboard admin might add additional LTI tool placements, they will show up kind of in that sub menu. Within that sub menu, they will be alphabetized. So you can see here, I've got Office Mix. But even in this case, the instructor would need to know that it's available. They might not search that whole tools menu, and on some cases, this tools menu can be pretty large. So I'm gonna come here to Office Mix, and the link name will be inherited. The text is up to the instructor. It is optional. Um, just for visuals, I'll put in the same description text that I had handy, but this is something the instructor can decide. They can also overwrite the link name if they want or append it, and they're going to go ahead and submit that. And then ultimately, that's what's going to happen. So it's going to be one link that gets added per placement. The destination of this link is set. When the student clicks it or the instructor clicks it, they're going to be taken to whatever that is, and in this case, it's a very simplistic Office Mix search that loads within the course. Again, the point here is not about the functionality, but about how you get to the functionality. And that's it. All LTI placements will have the same look. They kind of load within the frame, and users can click this little home button here to be able to return back to the course uh, kind of context. And again, I added all of that in the resources menu. So if there were additional LTI placements that had been added by the Blackboard admin, they would show up somewhere within this tools submenu, and the instructor will then link, add links to each one. But again, the link gets picked by the instructor via that placement that got added. It's going to show up in here, and then the destination will be the same for each user that clicks it. Uh, there, there is, you know, there's no dynamic discovery. There is no uh, choice about where you send off the students, and they can't impact the behavior once the student gets there. It also is a little bit tricky to return back to the course unless the student knows kind of to click that home button and return back because it always kind of opens within that bottom frame. So that's what it looks like to add a brand new LTI tool provider in Blackboard Learn as well as adding an LTI tool placement and then showing the instructor uh, experience for adding that placement and making use of it from within the content area of a course.